was the Vimar podcast show, Ghost Lights. Ghost Lights are also known as Earth Lights or Spook Lights. Normally a spiritual, spiritual in firm shape and varying colour and most common being white but pale blue, red from um, quite common. The lights have been observed on every continent on Earth. And strangely, one may be seen in an image from NASA ro- ro- Mars rover Curiosity. Whatever ghost light, wherever ghost lights occur, there, there is typically a legend was formed to explain them. These legends often result, involve ghosts or other supernatural spirits. Typically, the legend attempts to explain a light as a restless spirit doomed to wander the earth because of some traumatic events and experience while living. One example of these legends is that old green eyes of old green eyes is a ghost light seen in Chick Amarga Battlefield, location in the Battle of Georgia. Old Green Eyes is believed to be a soldier, soldier whose head was blown off during the battle and now wanders Chickamauga looking for his body. Another example from Asia set and the Ab- Aliyia are believed to be the ghosts of fishermen who died while fishing. The spirits of have an unpredictable nature. Sometimes they help the fishermen avoid dangers and other times may confuse or lead the fishermen into danger. Natural explanations include ball lighting, actual static coral displays, familiar to scimitars and Elmer's fire. One common suspect is that is that put forward is marsh gas, otherwise known as methane. How methane spontaneously ignites or glows is never made clear. Whether you choose to believe in ghost light to have paranormal causes or more natural explanations, the form is real observable and photographed frequently. This makes them a great candidate for paranormal road trip of possible view. Mafia Light M-A-R-F-A Mafia is a small town in Texas. There are 10 or 20 sightings a year of some time. Now, the ghost lights are described as but roughly basketball size all sides and appear in a variety of colours including white, red, green and yellow and blue. A varying stand is available to watch the lights and generally appear along US Route 67. Lights are said to hover around, uh, above the ground and last anywhere from minutes to hours in duration. The Saracy Spook Light S-U-R-R-E-N-C-Y The ghost light is in, located in Saracy Georgia and the Mokan Brunswick Railway Track. The light is described as a bright yellow ball which is, but disappears from the approach. This light has been observed since the turn of the century. Local legends connect the ghost light with the Sersky ghost and haunts the home of A.P. A. Sersky, the town finder. Other explanations include geological anomalies and theorized by Colonel. University Professor Larry Brown. Brown Mountain Lights. These ghost lights are located in Brown Mountain, North Carolina. Sightings of these ghost lights by Cherokee Indians, Indians in the area date back to the early eight, eight, nearly 800 years ago. Tribal legends held that they are spirits of the same slain warriors. Report sightings have continued to the present. The ghost lights have been described as having been white, yellow or red. The lights have been reported to both to both stationary and moving. The best time to satisfy you see these lights is in the form. West Point Spook Light West Point Spook Light is a ghost light located in West Point, Virginia. It appears near the, the railway tracks of Chokehawk crossing near York. A lower surrounding this ghost light is because it believed to be origin of phase asleep at the switch in 1864 after the Battle of Cold Harbor and the train carrying wooden, wounded Confederate soldiers derailed as, on its way to West Point. The cause of the derailment, the signalman was supposed to switch the tracks, was asleep at the switch. Waking too late, he began waving his lantern to stop the approaching light train. 
The train unable to st- stop derailed, killing all board and decapitated the sailor. Signalman, the ghost light we see today is a signal still trying to find and stop the train. The Paulding light, P A U L D I N G, located in Waters Meet, Michigan, the ghost ghost light is one of the most reliable ones to observe. Local residents claim the ghost light. They've been seen almost every night, similar to the West Point spook light. Local legends associate the light with a railway brakeman who was killed in an accident decades ago. The green light is believed to be light from its lantern. Lantern also seen a bright white light, but red and green are being reported. Skeptics have tried to explain the lights are coming from cars or planes, even though the lights penetrate the existence of cars predate the existence of cars and planes. As I mentioned before, the previous examples of a small sampling are limited to the United, United States. One could devote an entire book or website on the subject of ghost light sightings. If you one that would like to share with your local public, you're located, please give me a tweet on Twitter. I'm always interested to hear the side things. I wish that I wish I may not be aware, especially the elusive fish fish land. Account of one or one of on Antarctica. The Niagara fireballs, also known as moon moon lights, are probably the most impressive example of ghost lights. The Naga fireballs appear to be reddish in colour and appear and appear over a gate for the the Mount John River and they shoot out high into the air before vanishing. Naga fireball re- range it from the size of sparkles to that to that of soccer balls. A number of portraits observed in the sky covers the span of one fa- one to one one to two thousand. Skeptics have claimed Naga fireballs represent nothing more than a trace of fire from bullets. The idea that, it, 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 that the Naga, Naga fireballs are tracer, tracer, five continents up the image of the combat drivers, tasked with swimming up down the Mundra River. Flying off the, firing up, facing off the tra- tracer. But, uh, Naga fireballs are in the modern light, so not probably the most impressive example of ghost lights. Naga fireballs appear to be reddish in colour and often do originate from the Mojong River and shoot high into the air before vanishing. Naga fireballs cut range from the size of sparkles to that of scocker balls. The number that reported as heard in a night covers a span of one to two thousands. Skeptics are claiming Naga fireballs represent nothing more than trace of fire from bullets. The idea that Fargo fireballs a trace of fire conjures up the rain image of elite tremble combo divers with this with sw- with tasks swimming up and down the Merkley River and then lifting off the trace of air. Naga fireballs, also known as the Mergon lights, are probably the most impressive example of ghost lights. The Naga fireballs appear to be reddish in colour, appear originally from Mogon River, then shoot high up into the air before vanishing. Naga fireballs range from the size of sparkles to soccer balls. A number of reported observed in nights covers a span of one or two thousands. Sketches claim that Naga fireballs represent nothing more than trace of fire from bullets. The idea that Naga fireballs are trace of fire. Congress up with the image of elite combat tr- divers tasked with swimming up and down the Mudron River, randomly firing off traces around from the f- river. This is Holzumar Podcast Show, and I've been talking about ghost lights.